The triple evils of racism, economic exploitation, and militarism. We are presently moving down a dead-end road that can lead to national disaster. All over this country, there is a growing understanding that we have to transform our national priorities. People are out on the streets demanding changes to systemic racism and police brutality. We got a pandemic now, which has taken over 120,000 lives. Cases rising in at least 23 states. And people are asking, how come we are the only major country on earth not to guarantee health care to all people is even right. We have some 30 million people who have lost their jobs in the last three months, and people are demanding a full employment economy. So people are saying, we got to change the status quo. We got to move this country in a new direction, and that's exactly right. But one area, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, that there has not been a whole lot of discussion in terms of changing national priorities is our defense spending. We are now spending $740 billion a year on the military. That is more than the next 11 nations combined. That is over half of the discretionary spending in the United States budget. So we're going to have the strongest military we've ever had by far. In 1967, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. warned us that, and I quote, a nation that continues year after year to spend more money on military defense than on programs of social uplift is approaching spiritual death. The time is long overdue for the United States Senate to listen to what Dr. King said. I'm going to be offering an amendment into the defense authorization legislation, which cuts military spending by 10 percent. That would be a saving of some 74 billion dollars and that money would be used to address the very serious human needs that exist all over this country and that means improving our schools improving health care improving our infrastructure this is to my mind the beginning of an effort to transform our national priorities and it's time to invest in the american people in health care jobs education environmental protection the needs of our kids the needs of our seniors so I'll be offering that amendment. Look forward to your support. Thank you.